in Rome, Rome, R-O-L-M Corporation, was Richardson, Oshman, Lowenstern, and Maxfield. They were all IBM engineers, hardware engineers. And so that's where they came from. And I worked for the O, who was chairman of the company, and CEO and chairman. And he called me and said, you know, come and see me. And I said, I'll come up and we'll have dinner, have lunch at Tadich's. And he goes, no, I don't have time to do that. So you come down here. And he said, you know, you need to move to Seattle. And I said, I don't like Seattle. It's wet. It's rainy. It's every. I'm a California guy now. I'm used to I'm happy. And he said, so three days later, I'm up in Seattle looking at the rain coming down. And, the only guy in the parking lot with an umbrella because people in Seattle don't mind getting rain though. So, the only guy with the umbrella <laughs> looking around wondering, you know, what, what is what's happening here. And <clears throat> about nine months into uh, nine months into Rome in Seattle, one of my sales guys, a guy named Phil Granderson, said I've got some guys that want to switch data, and that's just before we started switching data through the phone system. So you didn't have to have a separate pair of cables or anything, you just had a data box on your phone and we would switch data, plug your RS-232 terminal into it, go onto a VAX or whatever, and we could, you know, we could switch data. And so I'm writing over to this guy's office, over to the office with my salesman. His name was Phil Granderson. And he was a Xerox guy, and he'd been through PSS, which is personal selling skills. And so I'm, I'm riding with Phil, and I said, how many people in the company? And he goes, oh, 28. And I looked at him, and our smallest phone system was 200 phones. Sorry. And I, I looked at Phil, I said, are you sure you went to PSS? And he goes, no, you'll like them. He said, they're, a pi they're pilots. And, one of them's a pilot, and you'll like them, and they have a lot of money. So I said, okay. So I go over, and so I meet Paul, Bill, and Burr. And they had a deck 2010 mainframe in a computer room. And then they had these kids copying these games off of these Apple IIs. And I said, so do you own that 2010? And they said, yeah, we do. And I said, so what are you running on it? And they said, AT&T Unix license. And back then, an AT&T Unix license was $500,000. So I started pepping up a lot. Right, <laughs> Rita, well, you got money to be doing this. And so we start talking, and, and we eventually sell them. Well, not eventually, probably two days selling cycle. We sell them a 200-line telephone system, and we became their telephone company. And so I was, Bill was 19, Paul Allen was 23, Vern was 26. He was the oldest guy in the company. And so it was the, you know, the original Microsoft. They just moved up from Albuquerque, which is why they needed a phone system. Uh, did you give them a discount? Pardon? Did you give them a discount? No, I didn't give them a discount. <laughs> <laughs> we weren't, we weren't big on discounting. <laughs> we weren't big on discounting. But so, you know, I kind, I got to grow up, watch them grow up, and I, you know, grew up. Our, our company, we got to be. You know, uh, the Rome company in Seattle, we were the dominant telephone company, supplier of CBXs. I mean, Pacific Northwest Bell hated us in both states. We were Oregon and Washington. And so I had an operation in Portland and, and uh, went up there. And we all got to be friends. And I used to deliver them to Comdex. And I have an airplane. I've always had an airplane. And I used to give them rides. And I had a Piper Navajo with a whole seven people, a twin engine airplane. And, uh, that airplane became very famous because that was the original flight simulator airplane. So if you go to the instrument panel on, on the first copy of, of flight simulator, the end number is N4081 Lima. And it was in all the documentation and so all the air traffic controllers knew that airplane and they used to call us the Microsoft airplane not knowing it was a Rome airplane and we didn't, didn't discuss, <laughs> we didn't discuss it, thank you. We didn't discuss it, you know, openly because you don't do that on the radio with airplanes. And uh, so that's, you know, that's how the whole thing started rolling out, and they got bigger and bigger. And, and uh, in 1981, Vern invited me to lunch and said, "You know, I'm leaving Microsoft." And I said, "You are crazy." And I, 
he said, no, he said, I'm not crazy. So I've got this opportunity and, and I want you to come with me. And I was being transferred to Rome of Texas. So I was finally getting out of this miserable weather in Seattle, which was a miserable place to live. You know, cause it's, you know how, when it, this past yeah. week when it's been misty and foggy, mm -hmm. it just, it doesn't rain. It just kind of drifts down on you. you know, and that's yeah. Seattle, certainly 10 months out of the year. Yeah. So 10 months, you're like, 4th of July, you have to go to Hawaii. Cause you know, the fireworks <laughs> are going up in the fog and it just, it's, that, that's the, that's the end of it. Well, so, some people, like leave that house. Oh, a lot of people I like just, it. I just, I personally would rather see the sun. So I went to Boston with Fern. Well, actually went to New York City to the Windows on the World and they were releasing this product <clears throat> with, that was 1982. And they were releasing this product called One Two Three. Okay. And so I've never seen One Two Three before. We had a IBM PC in our office because I insisted on buying first one at Rome that had a PC, and we were running VisiCalc on it because I was bound and determined to be in the, you know, the PC business <laughs> in some way. And in Rome, we actually built PCs for a while. We weren't, we didn't, they didn't stay in the market because they weren't used to. It the small margins and, and I, I went to Boston and uh, first windows on the world and and then went up to Boston or Cambridge where we were headquartered and met everybody all 20, 20 of us about that time or 15 people and decided I would join Lotus and called Oshman and told him what I was doing and he was like you are crazy, you know, you, here you are. By then, Rome was about 4,000 people and I was a 274th employee and, and he said, you know, you're well thought of in the company and you've got all, and you're gonna go do this and this is crazy. You know? 